the project will create many products. Imagine, for example, that the project's goals are to open a new bakery. Some products will be ovens and advertising materials. Others will include recruited and trained staff, contracts with suppliers and installed mixing machines. Or if the project is a company rebranding and image makeover, then project products may be a corporate logo, new product names, staff uniforms and customer focused behaviours. In both my examples here and every real Prince2 project, then as well as the specialist technical products that are the specifics of the project's objectives and desired outcomes, will be the Prince2 management products required to exercise project control through the use of Prince2's 40 activities. 26 of the products are given templates in Appendix A. Others, such as role descriptions and follow on action recommendations or the project mandate, are named and discussed but not defined in Appendix A. The 26 templates fall into three broad categories baselines, records, and reports. Here are three important definitions. Baselines are those that define aspects of the project and once approved are subject to change control. All of them except the team plan are baselined by approval from the project board in a DP activity. Records are dynamic information collections that are continuously maintained to record current status. And reports are a snapshot of status at a specific point in time. So for example, the configuration item records record the status of the project's products. So for example, our bakery's mixing machine may be purchased, then received, then awaiting installation, etc. The configuration item records record the status as projects travel through their life cycle of work from not started, work in progress, ready for test and then maybe ready for rework, otherwise ready for integration, and finally ready for delivery and delivered. A product status account, on the other hand, is a snapshot in time of the current status of a collection of configuration item records. For example, all the products allocated to a particular team or stage. These records are created and used by the project's various role holders. Let's take a look at who those role holders are. We mentioned their titles earlier and later we will go into their duties in definitive detail. 